There is a shaker. I think I donated this actually. Well, today we are going to Goodwill, but first we are going to be purging. Um, I am going to gather up some items from here at the shop. We've been doing this a lot recently. Um, items that I'm just really not that excited about. Um, items that I bought with the intention to resale and then I was like, you know what? These just aren't my thing or I'm never gonna get around to listing these. Or maybe we bought them at auction and there was one item out of an entire lot that I wanted to sell and the rest was just kind of like, I'm not excited about this, uh, but I've just, I've been trying to purge the things that are going to sit around for eternity and never get listed. Um, so I have a few boxes already set aside that I've been putting items into over the past week or so um, since our last purge, and we're going to just spend a few minutes walking around the shop, seeing what else I can put together. Uh, we're going to fill up the car, and we're going to take it to Goodwill. And then we're gonna do some more shopping. We're gonna bring more stuff into the shop. But the difference is that's gonna be stuff that I'm excited about, and stuff that I wanna list, and stuff that I wanna sell. Um, so that's the plan for today. So bear with me while we work around the shop here for a few minutes, and then I will take you all to Goodwill. So here we go. It's very rare that this cart is empty, but since it's empty, I'm gonna use it. Um, I have one box over here. I've already put together. Um, you can see I'm donating back this Tierra uh, clock with the hands. This clock is worth like 70 bucks, but I just decided after some self reflection that Jocelyn, you're never going to get around to fixing this clock or to listing it. It's time to let it go. So I'm going to let this clock go. I'm going to donate it back to Goodwill. Um, and perhaps somebody else who does have the time and wants that. 70 bucks. We'll buy it, throw on some hands, and uh, and get the money out of it. Sailor Moon, I know some people were interested in that, but um, I just don't see, I don't, I'm just not excited about it. I'm not really sure why I was, I'm not sure why I picked it up. So somebody at Goodwill will find it. They'll be excited about it. Maybe they'll hang it in their room. All right, so there's a lamp in there. Oops, I had to purge a lamp, a few Christmas things. Tupperware, ribbon, weird stuff, but I'm not really sure why I picked it up. This box here, we've got the bamboo stuff, which after I bought it, I realized, you know what, I don't think I'm going to be able to resell this because it is souvenir and it's very specific. I don't know what I was thinking. As a general rule, I steer away from souvenir stuff. These are fire and light lookalikes. They're not actually fire and light. Now I'm looking at them again, I'm like, maybe it is fire. I'm gonna keep this one. These ones I know aren't fire and like, these are tag. Um, those are tag. That's the brand, they had stickers on them, the stickers are gone. I found them since with stickers. And so I know that to get it to the case. Random thing, there's like a puppet down there that I bought, but he doesn't have a hat. And I'm like, why did I buy that? So um, <laughs> we're gonna donate the stuff in this box. That's just an empty box. I don't know why that's in there. Alright, so there you go. Let's keep going. More resin pigs. Which, I had a collection of pigs that I purchased from uh, one of my employees. And I sold through a bunch of them. And then I had a bunch of leftovers and I decided I'd sold through enough of them that the rest I was just going to donate. These are like resin. There's some souvenir pigs in here, one's Las Vegas. A bunch of other odds and ends. This is a cool flip flop. I don't even know if it works, but <laughs> I don't I don't like to mess with electronics. Um, this is just too much to ship. I don't wanna deal with that. These I picked up, these were actually pretty cool, but after I got them, I realized there's more damage on them than I originally assessed for instance look at that so I'm like you know what maybe somebody will want that I'm, on the other hand I'm like I don't want to donate damage stuff to Goodwill but it, I didn't even notice it until I was getting ready to sell them um, and then I had to really look at them so 
I feel like if somebody were to want to decorate with those, you could hang that on the wall and you have to really look at it to notice. So um, these silvers, um, restaurant wear, some specific restaurants, uh, restaurant wear can be worth money. This is not one of them. So I was hoping that maybe somebody out there was looking for these. They are not. These were on my listed shelves. As a matter of fact, most of this was on my listed shelves and I've been cleansing. Let's reevaluate the artwork pile. I feel like we're whittling that down. Um, there's a few pieces here. This is really cool. You can see it still has a little sticker on. I always thought maybe this is something good. Maybe a province town, but I'm over it. So it's going to go in here. This. on my booth but I don't know I may hang on to that one a little bit longer maybe it'll get to the booth if it doesn't get to the booth soon it's gonna gonna be cycled out what is this huh it must have been an, an auction extra or something um, this I know there's some value in these, that's why I picked it up. I think I'm gonna let it go. It is really cool. It's very dusty though. I'm not even really sure what's going on with this thing. It is a document, but it almost looks like it. It's either really, really old. Oh, what does it say? Civil War Battlefield, 1861 to 1865. But it's so charred it's like almost like it went through i don't know what's going on there obviously it's not a me thing it's an andrew thing so these i bought because i don't know i have i have a weak a weak spot for artists and i see things like this donated to the goodwill and i'm like somebody worked really hard on that and i hate to see things like this donated This is J. J. R. Twist, maybe. It's a, and this one reminds me of a painting that my grandmother has hanging in the back room of her house. Cruel. I actually sold a piece of cruel out of the booth recently, so I should probably get maybe get that one. In. All right, I think I need to stop the artwork. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I got, I got two pieces. That's good. Lamps. What should we do about the lamps? I feel like I should donate at least one lamp. I feel like it's this guy. I feel like that's a cool, probably American pottery. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to do that one. Maybe this one. That's contemporary. We'll get rid of that. All right, that's one last lamp I have to worry about. Okay, right, well, this is the last place I'm gonna check back here um, because I have been clearing off my shelves. And there are a few things that I think I may get rid of, like this chalkware communion set. There's just not much value there. I think those, and I was debating this teapot. It's, we never found the lid. I was hoping the lid would turn up. This was actually from the hoarder house. But the lid never turned up for it, so that can go away. I see some other stuff out here, but I might save that for my next Goodwill trip. I think I'm good for now. I think that's good. We filled two boxes. Three boxes in a bag. It's more than two boxes. All right, well, I just dropped my donations at the back door and I have driven around the front of the store. So we are gonna head into Goodwill and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit and hopefully not redonate in six months to a year. So let's see what we can find and get excited about. Here we go. All right, here we go. 
Now this Goodwill always has very sparse shelves, which is crazy because I donate like five boxes a week. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not quite five boxes. Um, but yeah, the shelves are always very sparse, but I found some good stuff here on occasion, so it's always worth stopping in. There is a shake. I think I donated this, actually. Ooh, look at that candy jar over there. Let's see if we can get to it. Look at that. Well, yeah, that's kind of exciting. $3.99 on that candy jar. Looks like... I like, always gotta check the finial because a lot of the times they're broken up and reattached. I think that might be the case with this one. It's hard to tell though. I honestly can't tell if that's just where it was applied or if that's reattached. So <laughs> that being the case, I think I'm just gonna grab it. No, it's funny, I am seeing some of the stuff that I donated on the shelves today. Last time after I donated all those pigs, it was like nothing here, but um, I remember I donated this hummingbird feeder. This is kind of neat. Some of these dragons I know can be worth money and I love that he's got like a crystal hanging. It's made in China. There are the pigs. Look at that. Gosh, now I'm like, maybe I want the pigs. Yikes, $15.99 on the toaster I donated. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Hey, look. I donate that. I don't feel like I did donate. I don't think I donated that. I wouldn't have donated that. It's $3.99. I'm now like second guessing myself. I'm like, did I put that in a box? I don't think I would have. I wouldn't have done that. I'm $3.99. I think I'm gonna grab this. I'm not something I could stick in my booth. That's kind of cool looking. Um, I was gonna say it's probably contemporary, and it sure is. Look at the bottom there. Use with dry decoration. Oh, so you can only use dried dried flower sprigs in it anyway. Yule tidings. Oh hey look, there's a target there's a couple target birds in there. I think those are uh, last year's though, because I have one on my shelf at home. I think those are yeah, I think those are 2022. I don't know how much value there is in the most recent target birds. Here is a vase that is carved away. Um, a lot of the times, the this is even resin, but occasionally I'll pick up the ones that are made in Nicaragua. Or those ones could be worth money. I've had pretty good luck with them in the past, but usually the ones I look for are the ones that are signed on the bottom and actually artisan made, and they're a lot more intricate. This is just, first of all, it's resin, and also it's just kind of meh. The design's not that great. Jardin tin for Cardu designs. These are just fun because they're Alice in Wonderland. Also, somebody left their apple right there on the shelf. It's a real apple. It's not pretend. It's kind of gross. Those are neat. Those are napkin rings, but they appear to be recite. They have like tinsel in them. Oop, I almost dropped them. <laughs> they have a glittery tinsel. And uh, the others might be, I don't know if they're wood. I say they might be celluloid, but I'm pretty certain that they are wood. Those would have been really fun for Christmas. I'm gonna grab those. There is a daisy and button hat. It's pretty dirty. It's $1.99. You can see there's a lot of dust. I'm pretty sure that's dust on my creases. I mean, $1.99. There's a little bit of money to be made there, but I don't know if I'd be real excited about that, so I'm gonna leave it behind. That's the whole point of today, not to be picking up things that I'm just not excited about. There's a swirl starfish tray. Lots of dried flowers and like artificial flowers here today. What is this? I think I maybe looked at this last week. $4.99. Maybe, maybe not. I kind of like the texture of that. I say it has some age, it has crazy on it. It's $4.99. I think I'm gonna pick it up. I'm almost wondering if there's a marking under that Goodwill sticker. That's kind of colorful and fun. It's $3.99. I feel like that's probably like a souvenir piece. I don't know, I kind of like it for $3.99. I just didn't see a whole lot of value there. 
I really like this Delft vase. There was obviously a sticker underneath. They want $3.99 for it. A lot of the times I see these in the um, green Delft. Um, but I don't usually see them like this. Maybe I'll grab that for $3.99. And then, this is always fun. These are uh, made in, I was going to say, made in Africa, but it's very specific made in Kenya. I've not sold these before. Um, again, these are probably more touristy pieces. They're fun decor. $3.99. I'm going to grab that. That's kind of an interesting shape. Is it signed? Oh, it is signed. It's Rosenthal Studio line. There you go. $1.99. I figured when I picked it up, it had some weight to it. It's got nice lines. I thought maybe it was something special, but oh, there's a chip there. So I think I'm going to leave that one behind because of that boo-boo. Those look like they could be Italian. I kind of like that basket weave on those for $3.99. And there is a marking. Just can't quite make it out because it's under the sticker. So I'm going to grab both of those for $3.99. Get a closer look at this Christmas tree on the first card. Mm, nothing special. This is a purse hanger. It's cool because it has a little uh, cutie on it. <laughs> so, it's random. And I buy it. And then this tile down here. That's worth grabbing. There we go. And it's signed by the artist. It's marked and it's signed. There you go. Lobster. <laughs> Sweet. This is kind of a fun and funky lampshade. Um, with rolled up magazine print and newspaper. You can see it's probably foreign because the letters on the newspaper is definitely not English. It's cool. I just don't know what I would do with it. I mean, obviously we go on a lamp. Um, it's very specific at the top. Alright, well I'm just going to look over here because sometimes there's just random stuff over here that's worth grabbing. It's kind of like a random look. See? Here. Look. Forget who makes these. And they're not marked. I feel like it starts with an H. I know they don't have terrible resale value though. Terribly high resale value. They don't have very good resale value. <laughs> I feel like I should probably clarify that. Oh, that's really neat. I remember my mom having one of those. I was gonna say those are like vintage ornaments, but they're just really not that exciting. All right, well, I think on that note, I'm probably gonna get out of here. I feel like we got some cool stuff today, um, and I will update you in the call with the total. All right, well, we found some cool stuff today. I was very pleased with that candy jar. That was pretty neat. Um, and that really, mar that marbled vase was also very cool. Um, so we got, we got some stuff today. Um, we didn't take out as much as we put in. And that's what matters. So um, I'm going to take this stuff back to the shop, get it processed, get it listed. Um, before I end the video, I want to remind all of you to be checking out knickknacks.net. Um, I have been listing a lot of my stuff over on knickknacks. And I have been trying to conduct regular live sales. So if you watch to the very end of this video, I usually put up a schedule of my upcoming live sales, both on Whatnot and over on knickknacks. So... Um, you guys can know when, when I'm going to be live and when I'm going to be selling stuff. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to hit the road now. And, uh, I'll see you in the video tomorrow. So long.